All right, fourth and fifth graders, we're ready to start building our base, our pinch pot base, so that we can start um, putting our coils on top of that. So um, you should have this little baggie that Mrs. Snyder will give you with your number on it. And inside there should be two pieces of clay. One of them is going to be um, a bigger piece. And so we wanna pull out that bigger piece of clay. This piece is going to become our pinch pot that will become the foundation or the base for our coil vessel. So the first thing we're gonna to do to create a pinch pot, we've got this whole process here. We have a piece of clay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it round. So in your hands, we're just gonna work this clay in a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some kids like to roll it on their placemat. Remember all the clay stays on the placemat. We just want something that resembles a sphere something round. Okay, so now to create a pinch pot, we're gonna take our thumb and we are gonna put our thumb down in the side of the bottom. So this is the hand that's my stronger hand because I've got to use my big muscles. I stick my thumb in there and the other hand is on top like this. So I'm sticking my thumb all the way in until I can start to feel like it's here. I don't want to get it all the way there because then it would make it too weak. So I'm pushing it in a little ways. Okay, now I'm going to pull it out. I should have something that kind of looks like that. The next step is I am going to create a duck bill. I call this the duck bill because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my thumb back inside the hole and I am going to use all of the rest of my fingers to pinch the side of um, this little pot. So normally when we pinch, we think of pinching like this, but we're not pinching like that. We're actually using all of our hands together to push the clay, and then I'm going to turn it. So then I turn it a little bit in my palm, and I pinch. The goal is I'm trying to make this part of the clay thin and this part of the clay. So what's gonna happen is it's going to start to get a little bit longer and I'm pinching and turning, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. And as I feel that this part is starting to get thin, now I'm gonna move my fingers up a little bit and start pinching in the middle. Pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. Do you start to see how it's getting a little bit longer? So I've moved the clay up this direction and I'm gonna keep moving my fingers. I'm working as one, remember, duck bill. Pinching and turning, the goal is to make the thickness the same all the way around my pinch pot. You can start to see how it's getting kind of long like a bell. All right, well this has to be the base of our coil vessel. So we need to do a couple things to be able to um, make it so we can put the rest of the coils. First thing we need to do is to tap it so that it has a flat bottom so it's going to be able to sit. And then also, depending on what your vessel is, this is going to be too narrow. It's going to be um, make something that's really, really, really tiny. So if I want to make it a little wider, I can just sort of use my hands. Remember, I don't want to make it super duper thin though. Just kind of using my hands and my fingers to sort of widen it a little bit. Then I can take it and turn it upside down and tap. See how that makes this rim flat. Okay, and I can just keep kind of gently working it just a little bit to widen it as wide as I think I'm going to need before I start. So I can keep tapping it down a little bit. Okay, and I want this nice flat rim so that this is where the first coil will be attached. Okay, so now we have our pinch pot. Let's talk about how we're gonna roll out our first coil. Inside your bag, you also have another piece of clay. We're gonna pull out that piece now. We are going to make a coil. And a coil is a shape that is like a cylinder. So this is an example of a cylinder, and a cylinder is round. So that's gonna be our goal today. Now, boys and girls, you might already know this about clay, but clay, the more I work with it with my hands, 
the drier the clay becomes. So we have to work quickly, and the more and more and more we do this, um, the drier it becomes. So we're going to work um, trying to keep our hands off the clay till it's ready to roll into a coil. So to start with a coil, we have our piece of clay. I want you to take your fingers and I want you to squeeze it out like a hot dog, as long as we can to start with. Okay, so now we've squeezed it out kind of long and thin. Our goal is gonna to be to make our coils as thin as our pinky. And here's how we're going to do it. It really helps to stand. So right now I'm standing in front of my coil. I'm gonna put my fingers, and the goal is that the clay goes this way to make the cylinder longer. So I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna gently press all the way down to like my wrists. I can even bring it back a little bit. Go like this, bring it back. Go like this, bring it back. I'm not pushing too hard. So I'm gonna show you what happens to a lot of kids as coils. They push too hard and then what happens is they get a part that's flat. So they have a part here that's kind of sticking up to get it to be round again, I've got to use my fingers to push that down a little bit and gentle pressure to roll it out all the way to my wrists and back. It's a little hard with this placement. Out and back. So our goal is we're putting a little more pressure here and my fingers are sort of spreading as I go out and back. Okay, we don't want to do any of this. Okay, because what's going to happen is we're just going to push the little grooves down. It's more of a rolling motion, like we're using a rolling pin, out and back, out and back. I can even do it with one finger. It doesn't require a lot of pressure, but it requires it to roll around and around. So our goal is to make a round cylindrical coil. To attach it to our base, we've made this perfect coil, so keep working on yours till yours looks perfect. And you also want it to be big enough that it's going to be able to go around our base. We're gonna add this first regular coil without doing anything to it. So in your toolkit, you should have a tool like this or another rib tool that we're gonna to use to score the rim of our base. So by scoring, we have to really deeply rough it up because this is gonna allow us to put water inside and it's going to act like a velcro to velcro the two pieces together so be okay with really making that rough and i'm going to also score one side of this that's going to attach to the base okay now you have your little container of water i'm just going to use my finger with a little bit of water and i'm going to go around the rim remember this is like the little glue that's going to help stick the two pieces together down this part. And now I'm going to stick it on. Okay. So I've stuck it to the top of my base. And now, boys and girls, here's your last step for today. I'm going to stick my hand in the back. And I'm going to take my finger or the wooden tool that Mrs. Snyder gave you in your kit. And I'm going to use my fingers to smooth, I'm gonna pull it up so you can see. I'm smoothing the two pieces together. I'm not pinching it, because this is still round. Remember, it's a cylinder. But I'm smoothing the two pieces together, the coil and the base. On the outside, it still looks like a coil, but on the inside, it's smooth. Can you see that? I'm trying to get really close. But my hand is on the outside to keep it from pushing my coil either smooth up or I can smooth down. I can use my finger or I can use the tool to get those two pieces joined together. That's one of our criteria is to smooth the inside. If you get that done, we might have time to add one more coil today. This is where we'll be able to start tomorrow adding our different variations and start to build our design.